Hey you guys, welcome back to Sweet Bee TV. I'm your host, Sienna Leone, and today we are at VidCon catching up with one of your favorites and one of my favorites, Kira Kosserin's joining me. Hi, Kira. Hi. I keep saying this off camera, you guys, but look at this new haircut and look at how amazing it is. Thank you. How many Thank inches you. did you cut off? A lot, like seven or eight. It was literally down to like, I could tuck it in my pants by the end of the Thunderman's movie. Were so I was you, like, all right, it's time. Were you excited for a change or I mean, were you scared? No, you know what it was? I Every day after filming, like I looked at myself in the mirror and I could only see Phoebe. I was like, where is Kira? Where is she? So I needed to like chop her out and get her free. I'm back now. But yeah, I love it. It's a lot more manageable. Back and better than ever. I mean, so good. But I want to talk about Thundermans. You wrapped that movie in nine days. Okay, yeah. so tell me a little bit about that process. Yeah, so so we were filming for four weeks, but we were filming it as like a hybrid multicam movie schedule because it is a hybrid multicam movie. So we rehearsed three days and filmed two for four weeks in a row. Um, but it's just, it's, you know, it's a really epic movie. We were filming on the Paramount back lot. There's a lot of special effects. There's a lot of actors, um, a lot of like fan favorites that came back and there were just a lot of things that we really wanted to pay off um, so it's it's exciting it's I think it's all the things that we loved about the original series just like bigger and better but it was a, a crazy experience and working as an executive producer was really special and fabulous and a lot uh, but really really wonderful and um, now the movie's in post-production so it's being edited and uh, here at VidCon Paramount Plus and Nickelodeon have a pretty substantial presence and they revealed one of the first teasers of the new uh, poster they revealed a teaser of the new super suit that no one had seen we just snuck into the convention hall and saw it and took some pictures with it which was very very fun it's just me from here down so you wouldn't know it was me unless you know it's me but i know it's me so it was cool to see so stepping back into this character phoebe i mean after all these years tell me a little bit about that was it yeah emotional yes. Yeah, totally. It took a little bit of calibration to like find her again. Um, I had to kind of remember a how to like click back into that Nickelodeon kind of style of acting, but also like remember how she would say things. Because by the end of the series, I could like read the script for the first time out loud, and it would feel like Phoebe because she was so in my bones. But it's been six years, yeah. um, so I think for all of us, it took us a minute to click in. But once we did, it was like we never left. The first couple days were really emotional, um, seeing the cast for the first time. None of us had seen each other. Crazy. since we wrapped six years ago we all went separate ways so really emotional and then after three or four days we all just kept looking at each other and being like it feels like we never left like let's do this for the next 10 years why not so it was good there's nothing better than it's almost like when you have an old friend and like you guys go your own ways and come back and it feels like nothing has no time has passed so it was literally like that filming I mean it was like for me at least going back to high school yeah you right. know like I was on the show from like 14 to 19 20 I'm 25 now like yeah. it, it was crazy to just come back and especially seeing the sets recreated was just like boom yeah. flashback so yeah it was very cool so we're at VidCon, obviously, you're doing so many meet and greets, so many of the fans, I mean, whenever we post you talking about Thundermans, everyone is so excited. So have you been getting that in-person live, like, hey, we're so excited for this new movie, is everyone talking about Thundermans with you? Yeah, it's been great. The meet and greet was a, a pretty good split between like, we're excited for the Thundermans movie and like, we're excited for the new music, which is always really nice. Um, but yeah, the, the kids have been great, the fans are really excited, and it's been a chaotic couple of days, but it's it's been great, you know, it's VidCon, that's part of it. Absolutely, now Thundermans, you're, you just stay booked and busy. You <laughs> dropped a new song last night. Tell me a little bit about that new song. Oh, this is my, probably my favorite. It might be tied with Sunday Best, but yeah, it's called Before the Sad Sets In, and I love it. It's just like a proper, sparkly, indie pop song. Um, I just think it's really fun and catchy, and I'm really proud of it, and we wrote it about a year ago, so I'm glad that it's finally out. And, yeah, I'm excited about it. It's also probably my favorite cover art so far, which it doesn't is, doesn't really mean anything, but I like it. It makes me happy to look at it. Where did you pull inspiration for this song? Oh, my brain, my <laughs> life, you know, uh, my my tendency to be able to think myself into a hole until I'm like, everything's bad and I'm bad, and I, everything's terrible and I'm a failure and I'm trash, right? Because that's what we all do, I think, as people. Hey, yeah. Uh, so I put it into a song. <laughs> So when your fans are listening to this, as the artist, where do you picture them playing this? What's your vision? It's definitely a car jam, yeah. for sure. It's like a sing-along, especially the bridge, the uh, 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 like just fun to sing in the car at full volume. Um, I like working out listening to it. Like it's a good temp for like 
elliptical or yeah, treadmill. Yeah. Um, but you know, listen to it wherever you love listening to music. It's good in headphones, I'll tell you that. New music, wrapping up some amazing, amazing movies, projects. So what else? I mean, you, like I said, stay booked and busy. Oh, oh, I mean, I'm like, holy. <laughs> like, plus like <laughs> vlogging and social media, full-time digital content creation. Um, no, I am actually, I'm trying to take a little bit more time for myself now that the, these, these first two songs are out. The movie is in post-production. I've got to do some ADR on that. Um, and there will be some more work that I'll do with like the marketing department and stuff as the movie gets closer to release. But yeah, I want to, like enjoy life this summer. I want to travel a little bit maybe. So I'm in the midst of trying to like figure out how to do that. It's really hard for me to like let myself leave yeah. LA. Cause like what if an opportunity comes up? But the older I get, the more I'm like, no, I need to like live my life and for do sure. things. So sure. yeah, I, hopefully what's next is that I'll be like on a beach in Greece and you know, having a good time. I'm <laughs> manifesting that for you. We'll see. Absolutely. A good healthy balance, yeah. you know, but Last question here, but VidCon, you are no stranger to it, and you're no stranger to this industry. You've been in as actress, a musician, in a social media star, so you've really dipped your toes into everything. So for the viewers at home that one day want to be a Kira Koster, and if that means an actress or a musician or even just a social media star, what is your best advice? I would say, are you sure? <laughs> are you sure that's what you want? It's hell in here. No, I'm just kidding. I'm half kidding. Um, I, I don't know. I mean, you know, whatever you do, make sure you're doing it because you love it and that you're making something that you love because views will come and go, algorithms will come and go. The entertainment industry is constantly changing um, but if you feel fulfilled by you know expressing yourself and being seen on a large scale then you know trust yourself and go for it and if you find that you're better off just not being on your phone that's also fabulous I love that for you so just you know trust your gut absolutely Kira you know we love you and I'm such a fan of you always, you. always as a so friend professional everything so thank you for your time today thanks for having me